Hello and welcome to another edition of Monkey Sen TV's Transformers Reviews. I'm your host, Monkey. Uh, today, as you saw in the credits, we are doing G1 Combat Cons. Now, these G1 Combat Cons, some of you with a keen eye might notice some uh, differences, but um, I'll point them out anyway for you uh, with these. There's a couple of knockoff items in, in it, my collection here. Um, but all the, the actual robots themselves, they're all G1. Uh, just a couple of the, the accessories. A knockoff from a oh, I'll tell you about it after. Right, anyway, so first of all, let's go to onslaught. Okay, so um, all these have been uh, re relabeled re from repo labels. I've got some new stickers for them. I added a couple of Decepticon stickers where they required. Really, it didn't go right here, so I thought I'd put it there. It's okay to me. It does anyway. But yeah, um, as with G one. The, the big bots have a very basic... I mean, this, this one's not too bad, actually, when it comes to articulation. It's not too bad. The legs can't do anything. Um, his arms can move about. And his head can turn, which is pretty cool. Um, backpack. I like to put the backpack on, like the cartoon. But, you know, I think the, the, the instructions tell you not to. But who cares? I like it like that. It's your own personal preference, isn't it? So, there we go. Yeah. On slot. Um... He is a tactician. He likes to plan ahead. Um, he seems to be a bit aloof and, you know, um, he, he pretends to personify the aloof, calm, collected individual. But when it doesn't go his way, he starts having tantrums. Um, so it shows his true colours. But, yeah, I like the toy. I like the colours. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, I, like I said, I did get the knockoff at one point. And it had a hole here where you could place the gun on, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but apart from that, that knockoff set, set was rubbish. Got it off eBay. Oh, it was horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. It was really cheap for a reason. Couldn't even turn the head. Never mind. So let's get him into uh, let's get him into truck mode. Very simple. Let's go. I, I try not to show you how to transform it, really. I find when you buy a transformer, you've never held it, held it before, certain time of transformer. I think the journey of actually built and changing it is part of the, the fun. So I only showed you, really, the uh, the red shirts from Prime, you know, the Vehicons, because of the genius of the transformer information, really. But, yeah, there we go. So we have the, uh, the artillery piece slash... Carrier slash truck type thing. Yeah, I like it. Uh, put a sticker on the front, cut it in the middle, just so it can. You can see there, just so it can have a Decepticon symbol there. Um, that's it, really. That's all the modifications I wanted to do with it. So that there, there we go. And we'll go on to blast off. Okay. Now, when I was a kid, I did actually have this one. I bought, I bought this from Woolworths, and it was pleased as punch. I think this is probably one of my first Transformers I bought. This ain't mine. I bought this. This might be my original. Bit. I bought this from uh, from eBay. But no, I didn't. I bought it from Capel Toys. I think I did. Very nice, anyway. So uh, yeah, he's um, he is aloof and uh, a bit snotty um, due to his. Isolation. He doesn't like people. He stays in orbit, and he's a sniper. He takes him out. I like that idea. You can imagine the Combaticons moving in, target designators. And he's blasting them from orbit. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. So anyway, to transform him, all these guys, as you probably know, or you may not, you may not know what you want. Uh, very simple. Uh, the articulation. The only thing I say about this one, actually, before going further, the only thing. The fists. I mean, yeah, okay, what are they going to be? Where would the fists be otherwise? But yeah, it is just the pop on oh, the nose cone. It's, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But that's what we love about G1. Um, kids didn't care about that kind of stuff. That's all. We just wanted a, oh, like a shuttle with guns. So, um,. I like the I like the new stickers on this. Uh, like I say, uh, you can get the upgrades, which look which mo look more like the cartoon rendition. But um, I decided to just go with the G one 
style. And it's a very nice set. It, it just makes it look a lot better. These were all tattered. They, 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 they seen better days, they really had. So took me time to took them off and wait for the sticks to turn on when they did. What a one. And they look a lot better for it, to be honest. So, um, yeah. The shuttle with the uh, cannons. Don't ask me what they are. I'm not that knowledgeable about the guns. I don't really care. Told you, as long as they go bang, I'm not bothered. So, there's the shuttle. Let's go on to Vortex. Funny enough, Vortex is probably one of the hardest ones to get these days. Um, he's usually missing a load of stuff. And, um, oh, he's, he's not quite right. And this guy was in bad shape when I got him. But, why is to fix him up? Again, the sticker's making pop. Really nice. I believe this one's the weakest of the, of the team, to be honest. Um, I'm ignoring the fact that he is a bit wobbly. I think that's that's because of age, though, isn't it? But I think he, I think he's a I think he is the weakest. But as you can see here, he's got his uh, normal gun there. Oh dear, his normal gun there, and then he has I've I've just attached the guns, the other big guns, the side of it, all tooled up, ready to go. Um, but yeah, he's uh. He's a bit sadistic. He picks up all bots and takes them up high and drops them. That's his. That's his kind of fang. Um, yeah, cool. Um, so we'll just transform him. So this is the beauty of this one. You'll see him in other ones when I get to like uh, generations or whatever. I'll probably just edit to you see the robot. Oh, let's see the car, the next, the old mode or whatever. Um, but with uh, these, very simple to do, so just do it on screen. There we go. Oh, well, come on you. There we go. And then just to put that in the nose. I like that. The, the, actual, the actual gun is the gun on the nose. I do like that. It's very, very nice. Um, it looks kind of plain though with the cannons on. It hides the stickers. See there. Um, so, but I like to have them tooled up. They are the combat cons after all, you know, not the rescue bots or cons or whatever. So nice stickers, though, really nice. I think uh, Retro Labels did a really nice job doing these ones. Really nice. Anyway, I'll stop saying nice. So there you go. Brawl. Now, Brawl has got the knockoff parts. You will know uh, to the keen eye individuals out there. You'll notice that um, he has that grey weapon. See, these are black. These are the knockoff uh, weapons. But you know, I got the knockoff ones. And went, oh, that'll do. And I saw Brawn on the eBay, so I bought that. I like that grill. That's nice. And the Setcon symbol on there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do you like it a lot? Um, basically, the thing with Brawl is um, uh, uh, just shoot, just kill, burn, pillage, just kill everything, destroy. Ah, that, that's that's Brawl. He doesn't. He doesn't take names. He doesn't fluff about chatting. Let's just annihilate them. He said annihilate in a cartoon in less than thirty seconds twice. So uh, it just goes to show Brawl. Is um, a bit of a of a maniac, and you put the kind of thing on there, and the gun again. The gun is used very well in this in the on this toy in the alt mode. Just put on top, so he's just brilliant, brimming with firepower. Um, turret moves, which I like. Not got many tanks. And the the thing about there's a couple of more, there's a couple of vehicles that. Transformers and Golbots have problems with one is a tank and the other one I would think is the bike. Uh, Transformers don't have many bikes for a reason, uh, but th this is a nice tank. It does what it's it does what it says on the tin. It's very nice. I think it's supposed to be an Abrams. I could be wrong, to be honest. But hey, it's a tank. It's green, nice colours. I think the black looks better uh, on this uh, for the cannon and all that. Rather than the uh, the the dark grey that it normally comes with, but hey, 
Right, and last but not least, we have Swindle. Now, I like Swindle. Um, he's really cool, and he makes me laugh in some places as well. Especially these arms. The fact that they're pivoted in the middle. It's like having your shoulder joint there. <laughs> but you know what? He's cool. I do like him. I like the fact that he's got a big cannon. Just like Megatron. In the cartoon, it's attached to him like Megatron. It's brilliant. He comes a little good, with a little pistol as well. The fact that he even sold his teammates parts for money in the cartoon was absolutely brilliant. This is fantastic. And they've done even better with him with the cart with the comic as well in IDW. He is a parts dealer. He does illegal stuff. Yeah, Ultra Magnus has been on his tail for years now trying to get hold of him. And he gets you out of it all the every time doing deals with him. Oh wait, don't catch me. I know someone who you want even more than I do than me. So yeah, very, very cool character. Um, he was sw he swindles. That's it's all in the name. It's all in the tin. What he does. So um, yeah, very good. So again, transformation, very simple. Uh, the guns on again. These are not these are the knockoff ones as well. These work better uh, than brawls. But there you go. Yeah. Oh, see that fine. It's a cracking toy. They don't do many jeeps and transforms, I'm sorry to say. But um, it's not bad, is it? You know, it's a bit blocky, but it does the job, doesn't it? A nice colour as well. It's a really good colour. And here we have Bruticus in all his glory. Um, traditional way of doing it, you know, these guys are the limbs, these guys are the... the sorry, these guys are the arms, these guys are the legs. Um, with these, with these uh, city teams... Um, some tweaks, I, if I was designing them, I would have changed slightly. For instance, the aerial box, Silver Bolt would be a bomber in my design. And then, and then you've got the fighter escort with them. How cool would that be? That'd be awesome. And their, their, their task is just to take out bases or whatever, you know what I mean? That'd be, that'd be, oh, God, that'd be ace. Make it happen, Hasbro. Silver Bolt, a bomber. And the other guys, a fighter escort. That would be just awesome. Oh, ace. They could take off from broadside. Right. Anyway, back to this. This but these guys, these guys I like the, the combination of a tank, a jeep, a shuttle, you know, uh, a helicopter, and some artillery piece of some kind. Because that's what he is basically. He's an artillery piece on wheels. Um But I like the fact that the head turns and it's it's a good articulation for its time. You know, the arms move. You don't want the legs to move. You don't want the legs to move. It's too big. It will work. It's good. I like it. Uh, Repro labels put a couple of extra stickers on that work. You know, like that, for instance. Because it was bare. It was like, what? Now nah, they've made it put a single on. I like that. Very nice. So, yeah. Uh, as usual, with the city commanders, they use the gun for the, the actual leader of the team. Um, and you can, you can put guns in here. You know, and as well. I don't know. You can put some guns on here and, and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really nice team and something that needs to be redone properly. I like it. I hope you liked it, guys. Uh, this is Monkey. Um, wishing you good tidings and adieu.